What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Miss Ross. And listen, I have with me tonight the CEO and organizer of the Opulent Hair Revolution Hair and Fashion Show is going to be taking place in Delray Beach um, this year. So if you are in the South Florida area, listen, you guys make sure you get your tickets. WMR will be in the building. Keep it locked right here. Don't go anywhere. I will be right back. I have with me live none other than the CEO and organizer of the Opulent Hair Revolution Hair and Fashion Show coming February 25th, right? That's right. Let introduce yourself, right. let everybody know um, what you have going so on February um, and fashion show going to be about because it's hair and fashion. I thought it was just hair. So that's just something that I learned tonight. Yes, it's both. It's hair and fashion. Um, we're going to have a couple performances. We're also going to have a lock battle. It's going down. Is it too February. late for people to participate? No, it's not too late for people to participate if they need to, if they want to um, purchase a ticket to be a vendor, if they want to be a sponsor, if they even want to get in the competition. It's a lot competition, freestyle competition, and also it's a um, fastest fade competition. Okay, so when you say freestyle competition, because we don't want to confuse anybody in regards to the hair and the music, is it like a free? Because I don't, I've never been to a hair show, believe it or not. Oh wow. Um. So explain that to us. So you have barbers that come out that of course know how to do designs and different things like that um, in the person's head. So whatever they think um, creatively, they can put it inside of um, the person's, you know, hey, like a haircut. And they're gonna so that's get the free, so it's actually freestyling. It's, it's like, it's hair people and barbers freestyling doing hair. Not hair, just the barbers just the barbers right oh man yeah i gotta get my boy um down there from my hometown he's a beast when it comes to being when it when it comes to that barber listen i know i know y'all got y'all people down there in pompano and delray but listen i, I promise you <laughs> they ain't got nothing on my boy in brevard county I'm no no business out there y'all she ain't just no ceo like the executive producer yes, of yes, way to success yeah she is more than just what you see here so don't let don't let that humbleness fool you all. What She's very it? humble. Not, not <laughs> I'm me. Your out there. <laughs> it's just, y'all hit her, her up. Um, okay, so you got the freestyle. That's a battle, right? Yes. And then you have the car show. So you having a car show? A car at show. Time. You just added stuff to my show. Oh, I did. I added the car yeah. show. Maybe I just want to yeah. see a car show. <laughs> I am not a car show. Maybe I want a car show. show. My bad. I'm sorry. I want you to have a car show then. So maybe you have to you have to incorporate that because it's listen, it just popped in my head. I'm sorry. I just added something to your show. Well, I think about that for next year. Okay, so fashion. Yes. The fashion show. Do you have your designers already? Or are you still looking for designers? Yes, I'm I have one designer. T Shala is is French. But not only is it a boutique, it's also a salon as well. So, is it diverse? Is it diversified? Is black owned? Like because it's it, French. It is, it is black owned. Um, the owner is Haitian American. Okay. So um the owner, the owner is Haitian American. She's a hairstylist, and her and her cousin collab together. So the cousin owns the boutique part of it, and she does the, the owner owns the hair, does the hair part of it, if that makes sense. But they come together for 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 T Shala. Okay, I'm, I'm looking Sounds forward to it because I will be covering, you know, doing media. Uh, they will be one of the ones that I interview, right? Yes. Okay. They'll be there. They'll be in the so, house. Listen, I have been seeing a lot of videos from some celebrity DJs. I mean, <laughs> it's some heavy hitters that you got uh, making some appearances. Celebrity <laughs> DJ Ty, he's he's the main DJ, right? He's actually gonna be the DJ. Um, okay. I don't know if Nasty gonna slide through, you know. DJ um, Nasty, DJ yeah, Nasty. I saw I saw DJ Nasty three hundred five. Um, DJ Baby said Cash Money yes. Records, women tight, you know, Cash Money yeah, Records. Maybe that's gonna be in the building, but you got to get your tickets. Oh, so. Some dope rappers and stuff like that that are gonna be there from out of um, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, Mister Eighty Two Twenty. Okay. And, um, Big Shot Reed, they're gonna be there, and we actually have someone flying all the way from Connecticut. What um, artist is this? His name is Sean Lamar. He does like a little reggae, you know, dance hall music. Oh, so you got a you got a variety. Is this indoor or outdoor? It's gonna be indoor. Okay, that's good. I mean, it's, it is Florida. I mean, Florida's weather lately been bipolar, so 
It's kind of it hard to tell. This is the flyer. Put it, put, bring it, bring it closer to the camera so they can see. But we're gonna also post it up on um social media. And it, matter of fact, it is up on social media. Um, it's on her page. I have it on my personal page, and I'll make sure I post it to the radio station page um after the interview. Um, is this the first year? Is this, this your first is, year event or? I'm gonna say officially. I'm gonna say yes, but I have done two before. Okay, so has it been the same name? No, it was first okay. called um, Beauty, Fashion, and Praise. So you're gonna keep it. I like this name. Are you gonna keep this name moving forward? Yes. yes. Yeah, I like this name. It's, it's it's it sets you up, you know, on a higher level. Like marketing mm -hmm. is everything. So I love the opulent, you know, hair evolution. I, I like I that not. name. I think you should stick with that one. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it. Um, and the theme this year um, is a uh, Harlem Night Great Gatsby. Okay, I'm glad you said that. So we dress up. We got to dress up. Yes. I can wear my WMR shirt. As long as that, if you have like a Great Gatsby skirt or something to go with it. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Okay, so it is themed. Now, what if somebody comes and they're not dressed? Are you turning them away? Um, if they bought a ticket, they're allowed to still come in. Because you know, sometimes folks don't follow the rules. I had a couple people said they weren't. And I was like, you know what? It's always somebody. Right. They don't want to follow the rules. But you are going to let them in, right? Yeah, I'll let them in. But I would prefer you to stick with the theme. Because going right. forward, not only this year, going forward, I want to make every year um, a theme. Okay. I want to have um every year because we do have hair shows you know there in Atlanta where you are Bronner Brothers um right. we have premiere here in Orlando and we have different you know the barbers have their you know their events their barbering um competitions and stuff and nobody dresses up you just however you get up out the bed and you feel like you want to wear some jeans and a t-shirt cut up jeans whatever you just come to the hair show so I want to do something different and make it themed okay that's yeah it's, it's hard to get us to participate in certain things like that, but I think it's necessary. You know, I think it's needed. You know, people don't realize what they like until they try it. Correct. You know? Actually, and my I show is um, a small portion to a bigger event that's happening. Um, okay. It's a bigger event that's happening that weekend called Black Lux Weekend. Actually, the CEO, I'm in his office right now. He just left out here not too long ago. But, I've heard of that. I think I was asked to cover that last year, but I wasn't able to make it. I think um, Fly Girl Diva might have went on our behalf, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Um, they had Kiki Wyatt last year. Oh. Um, that event. But it's a picnic. It's a luxury type picnic. So That's what you were telling me about, right? About yeah. going to the picnic. Okay. Yeah. So you get to bring your picnic attire and, and stuff like that, and you um, set up your picnic. You can't bring no drinks of any kind, but you can set up your picnic area. You bring your picnic food, which I thought was dope because, you know, uh, most events, you can't bring no food or no drinks if they have vendors. Right. But you are allowed to bring your food, your picnic uh, finger food or whatever you want to bring. And crazy part is we went last year, me and my sisters, and... Mm -hmm. We brought food and we didn't even really eat the food. We still bought food. It's up to you if you want to bring your food or if you want to eat food. Right. I usually I usually don't bring food because usually events like that, I look forward to the food. You know, I look mm -hmm. forward to buying drinks and eating the food that's out there, you know, on top of just trying to support every vendor that's in the building. So that's why I usually just I try to just go with when the flow. Coming to events yeah. like this. Just have a couple hundred bucks in your pocket because when you get there, there's going to be so many different vendors selling different things. You're going to want to try everything. I go, I I do business with every vendor. I usually take time to spend at least $20, if not $25 with each vendor. That's good. That's good. Most people don't think like that, but it's it's a dope event. Um, I went last year. I hate that I can't go this year because I have to be decorating for my event right. this year, but um. His event is the Saturday. And, and mine, it's outdoors, right? Yours is indoors, outdoors. it's outdoors. It's outdoors. So is his in Delray as well? or No, his is in Boca. Boca. Which yeah. Boca and Delray are, are, are neighbors. Okay. Boca out west, though. It's west Boca. All right, just make sure you put that information, you know, on your post, like in the caption, let people know that they have the option to attend his event as well. Right. So those okay. who want to fly in, because actually if you go on his website, to get your tickets, you'll also see um, the link to even buy tickets for my show as well. Okay, so you guys are pretty much doing like cross promotions. You're like partners. Right. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, that's great. See, you guys, I told you you can cross promote. It's not a conflict of interest. It's and in, no, it, it helps that it helps each other. This is the thing. We're partnering with promotion, but he has nothing to do with my event, and I have nothing to do with his event financially. You're just no. you're you're just yeah, you're just cross promoting yes. each other and just helping each other with the promotions. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. yeah. So that, that's that's what I that's what I try to get the people get people to understand that it, you don't have to dig in each other's pockets. You still can keep it se separate, but right. just you know help right. promote one another. People it's a have full, a problem with that. It's a full weekend though. It's a full weekend because they have Friday. They have leadership that Friday um, day from ten from ten to five, and then later on that night they have who's in the room, who's in the okay. room um, from seven I think to one. What's that, who's in the room? So you're networking with different people. Um, so let's just say if you okay. had to work during the day and you couldn't go to the leadership because the leadership had like a lot of big wigs that's going to be there, and so oh. you couldn't go to the leadership because you worked all day. More than likely they'll probably be at who's in the room later on okay. that night. So the who's in the room? Is it going to be an open bar or anything in there, yeah, or is it just going to be gonna, networking? It's going to be at a majestic um, restaurant, okay. majestic lounge. Sorry. So they're going to have you know drinks and food and all those things, and people just going to be networking. And all of this is in the same area. Yes. What made you want to do your show during Bronner Brothers? Because we know how, everybody knows how big Bronner Brothers is in Atlanta. You well, know, it was like a, it was an accident. I didn't know that Bronner's was that weekend because. Um, Oh, so it was, so you didn't intend for it to be like that. No, no, no. Okay. No, um, because the one who's doing Black Lux, Rohan, he put a post on Facebook and he was like, hey, um, I'm I'm thinking of something big. I'm trying to do something big with this Black Lux. And he was like, who wants, you know, who's having an event that wants to go in conjunction with Black Lux? Right. So I already just thought of doing a hair show again that, like last year, but I didn't know when I wanted to do it. So when he said that, a light bulb went off. And I said, ooh, let me, you know, get in contact with him to see what he think about, you know, this idea that I have. Right. And he was down for it. So I never looked to see what day Bronner Brothers was and stuff like that. I can't compete with a big show that's been going 75 years. I can't right. compete with that. Um, I love everything about their show. So it was nothing with competing. It's just that Black Lux was the same weekend right. as that. So I ended up being the Sunday um, okay. as Bronner. It, it was no competition. It wasn't, you know, on purpose or anything like that. It just happened that it fell on the same day. But you know what? It, it and you know what? It kind of balances itself out because if you think about it, everybody probably won't even have the funds to travel to Atlanta to attend Bronner Brothers. Bronner Brothers tickets are extremely high anyways. So mm -hmm. the fact that you guys have an event similar to Bronner Brothers right there locally, it, it still gives people the option to attend a hair show, you know, during the same weekend as the Bronner Brothers. So it's kind of like a Bronner Brothers, you know, Lux and opulent weekend. Right, right. Yeah. So it works out. Like, what I really want to do my show for is for the underdogs. Okay. Um, I really want to do it for the underdogs, for those hairstylists that nobody really knows about. Those hairstylists that might be doing hair in their garage or warehouse, you know, that does right. really do hair, but they aren't popular in their city. That's So dope. my whole point was to give them a platform because I'm also an underdog stylist. You I know? love that. I love that. You know, we need that. We need so many people to reach back, you know, to the little people, you know, the ones who are trying to come up behind all these major corporate, you know, right. stylists and things like that. Like you say, the underdogs. So because the underdogs tend to be forgotten. They, they act like the people who are on top now never were underdogs as if they just blew up like that overnight. You know, they were you know? once where everybody is right now and just consistently, you know, being persistent and, and believing in themselves is the reason why most of these people are where they are. So, yeah, I'm much love to you um for you know thinking of the underdogs i like that yeah i have to because i'm i'm one i, like I'm one too. I am one i am an underdog right wmr is an underdog you know right so yeah i feel you uh, on listen, that before you go um give everybody the website again um how they can purchase their tickets um and the date and listen you guys make sure you show up and support so you can purchase tickets by going to www.opulenthairrevolution.com, which is scrolling on the bottom of the screen right now. Um, the tickets are 25 for general admission, 50 
for the VIP. We still have uh, sponsorships available. We still have vendor spaces available. So if you're looking to be a vendor to show off, you know, your, your items from your boutique, you know, um, if you're a hairstylist and you don't want to compete, but you want to showcase, um, if you are a barber, don't want to compete and showcase, you know, it's still space for you guys to come out and show us what you got, you know, without competing. It's February 25th, um, 2024. The time starts at 12 p.m. and it's to 4 p.m. So you right. guys come out and let's enjoy. All right, guys, listen, you heard it from the CEO, the organizer. Listen, in those rates, the prices are very reasonable. I'm, I'm surprised. So you guys make sure you get your tickets, man. Go support. And even if you don't uh, plan on attending or you have something else going on, it doesn't hurt to buy somebody else a ticket, all right? Right. Buy somebody a ticket as a gift, birthday gift, a, you know, a late Christmas gift and say, hey, go ahead and have fun, attend this show. If you know somebody who's a hair fanatic, who's an aspiring, you know, designer, buy them a ticket, you know, inspire them and allow them to attend this event. And you never know. You could be, you know, the reason why they become who they are. All right. So yeah. listen, thank you so much for doing this interview with me. I appreciate it. I will be in thank the building. Thank you for having me. No, thank you for having WMR come and cover this event. I'm looking forward to, you know, interviewing, meeting and, and mixing and mingling and, you know, just turning up, having Listen, fun. Listen, guys, keep it locked, all right? Don't go nowhere. WMR Radio, Miami and Atlanta's new number one for music, news, and talk. Later. Okay. All right.